Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you on how to install six cash digital wallet mobile app with Laravel admin panel. Please kindly watch this video carefully to the end so that you will understand how I did this. And please, if you're a newcomer here, please kindly subscribe on my YouTube channel and click on the notification button. So that any time I post a video like this, it will be useful for you. Thank you. So now you go to your C panel. Here is my C panel. You go to file manager. Go to file manager. Then you click on where you want your script to be uploaded. I want my script to be uploaded at publish HTML. And I press on upload. Please be noted that this is a free teaching. If you need this script, you can message me on WhatsApp. I'll be dropping my WhatsApp number below. Send me a message on WhatsApp and I will get the script for you for a cheaper price. Thank you. So now, hope you all see where I am going to. I'm going to where I kept the file. This is where I kept the file. So as you can see the file has been uploading is uploading so let's just wait for the file to read 100 percent and we can go back to our server so as you can see it is now reading i think it will not take much of our time it will not take much of our time have some patience as you can see it is reading So now as you can see it has been completed successfully. So let's go to our server. Now here is our server. As you can see the script has been uploaded to our server successfully. Let's extract let's extract the file. As you can see it has been done extracting. Now you can see there is a file and a folder here. So you just need to delete this because it has no use. This has no use. Let's exit. Then you refresh your server. After refreshing your server, you click on the folder and it will take you to this page. Now there is an admin new installation. This uh, this file, you will need to extract the file. So let's extract the file, then we'll wait for some time. Alright, now as you can see, the file has been done extracting. So let's copy. All this and move it to let's move it to our publish HTML. Please make sure you watch this very carefully. Move it to your publish HTML. Now let's go to our publish HTML. As you can see, it has been done moving successfully. Then now let's check if this uh, site has been live. If 
outside has been live. Wow, so as you can see, our site has been live. What's just there for us now is to complete our database. So let's go back to create a new database. Let's go back to create a database. Now you go to here, my SQL. That's where you go to. Then you create any database of your choice. Remember, this is a domain, a free teaching, so you can just put any name here. Yeah. Then, for the password, we will use the password that was generated for us. All we just need to do is to copy this password. Just to copy this password. Please make sure you copy the password. But you can use any password of your choice, but I'm using the password because it is a domain account. Then you press use password. You press create user. So now you press on all privileges, then press on make changes. So now we'll be using Remember I told you to copy told you to copy your password. Now go and store this password in your phone tab and make sure it is saved there. Then you also copy your username. And paste it on your phone tab. Your phone note so that you will not forget it. Now let's go to our domain to start the database so we can know what to do next. Alright, now press on get started. Click on get started. Alright, so as you can see, our permission for the file has been is all correct. You might have issue here. So any issue you have here, you just let me know. So I'll be able to help you. Press on proceed next. Alright, now you put a name, the name for the file you purchased. So let me just put anything. Now, here is the database. So you put local. Put local host here. Then the database name. You go back and copy it. I've already put the database name. I'm running the password. And here is the password. So you still put the database user, uh, user because it's the same thing, the username and the name of the database are the same thing. 
to the press and continue. So as you can see now, they say your database has been connected. Just click on the selection to automatically import database. So click here. Alright, now you set up your Adbit account. This is your own information that you will be using to log in your admin. Let's press on complete installation. So, as you can see, our configuration has been successfully be done. So, now let's check to see if this our website has been live. Now, you can check yours to see it. It's loading. It's loading. I just wait for a few minutes. Alright, now congratulations to us. The script has been done installed. Thank you for watching this video and may God bless you.